Hi folks, this is Tony for a minute to midnight.com. Please make sure you are subscribed to us at a minute to midnight.com by going down the right hand side of the page and entering your email address where it says subscribe to blog. Over the last few years I've covered artificial intelligence, robotics and transhumanism quite a number of times in videos. But I don't know if people realize just how dangerous a threat these things all are to humanity and that these days are very definitely looking like we are in the end times as spoken of in the Bible in many places. In the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22 it says, And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. That's not talking about no spirit shall be saved, it says no flesh. In other words, the way I see it is the end of humanity as we know it were the days not shortened and Jesus didn't return before that happened. But we have wicked, godless men pursuing crazy agendas and it's happening faster and faster in so many areas of our lives, not just uh, these areas that I want to cover today, but many others. But what I want to show you today will I think shock many of you as to how far things are going and how quickly it is changing and things are developing in the uh, move towards transhumanism, artificial intelligence and singularity and the goals that the wicked elites have in the use of all of these things and also the uh, ability of robots to perform tasks that you have only seen in sci-fi movies in the past. This robot in action here is Atlas from Boston Dynamics which I've covered over the years the development of this robot. The developments in the physical capabilities of Atlas over the years has been quite astounding. And now we have another robot here which is called Eve. Robotic startup 1X, which is backed by Sam Altman's OpenAI, has overtaken Elon Musk's Tesla in deploying the first AI robot in the workforce. The robot named Eve has been reportedly integrated as a security guard in an Android manufacturing site. The robot is reportedly redefining surveillance and security. And this robot's been developed by a company called 1X, who is also developing a bipedal humanoid robot called NEO for OpenAI. OpenAI, which is partnering with 1X to build NEO, is the company from San Francisco with supposedly the most advanced AI in the world. They are the ones that have developed OpenAI's chat GTP and imagine putting that capability and more capability as they go further with it into a robot. Well, that's the goal. You can see that in summer 2023, which is only around three to four months away, that we're going to be getting the first demo slash reveal of this physical robot. And with the multimodal capabilities of GPT-4, where it can literally look at an image and understand exactly what's going on, it's going to be really interesting to see exactly what these robots can't do. Elon Musk's Tesla company is also at the forefront of robotics, AI and transhumanism. And if you look at these robots, can you imagine a world with robots like this, only maybe more sophisticated, because that's what's happening. They're becoming rapidly more sophisticated and with more intelligence. You imagine these overtaking the human workforce also as security guards, policemen, you name it. I can see it coming and that is a scary thought. I'm sure we've all seen horror sci-fi movies and television shows where autonomous robots with super intelligence are marching around and controlling and wreaking havoc on humanity. Well, I never thought I'd see the day where it would become a potential reality, but that is fast approaching. And rather than celebrating it, I think these Tesla robots are a potential threat to humanity, certainly at least taking human jobs, but probably potentially much worse than just that. 
it remains to be seen what One X's Neo robot will have as far as capabilities go, but the release is not far away. This could be one of the biggest game changers in the entire AI industry because it will not only be the world's largest language model, the most powerful language model, it is arguably going to be one of the fastest, best, most agile robots we've ever seen. Now you've seen what the robots looked like a couple years ago. Just imagine the kind of technology that they could be working on now, especially with the development from OpenAI, NVIDIA and Tiger Global. This is going to be absolutely huge. There may come a time when humanity is able to create a machine with increased artificial intelligence that is on a level with the cognitive and functional capabilities of a person. This may happen with the help of innovations built upon earlier innovations. Following this, a period of unstoppable and irreversible development may begin. But there's something actually more scary and more sinister, I believe, than the robots with AI and that is transhumanism. Over the years, in several videos, I have covered Ray Kurzweil. He is head engineer at Google. And before I play you some clips, I want to just read a bit of an article that was written in 2017 by a woman called Megan O. Geiblin. She says, I first read Ray Kurzweil's book, The Age of Spiritual Machines, in 2006, a few years after I dropped out of Bible school and stopped believing in God. So here we have supposed atheist woman writing this article, a woman who is allegedly an ex-evangelical Christian. I'm going to skip down and just read some of it. The 21st century will be different, Kurzweil wrote. The human species, along with computational technology it created, will be able to solve age-old problems and will be in a position to change the nature of mortality in a post-biological future. Like the theologians at my Bible school, Kurzweil, who is now a director of engineering at Google and a leading proponent of a philosophy called transhumanism, had his own historical narrative. He divided all of evolution into successful epochs. We were living in the fifth epoch when human intelligence begins to merge with technology. Soon we will reach the singularity, the point at which we would be transformed into what Kurzweil called spiritual machines. We would transfer or resurrect our minds into supercomputers, allowing us to live forever. Our bodies would become incorruptible, immune to disease and decay, and we would acquire knowledge by uploading it to our brains. Nanotechnology would allow us to remake Earth into a terrestrial paradise, and then we would mitigate to space, terraforming other planets. Our powers, in short, would be limitless. And when I read that, I'm reminded of Revelation 9.6. And in those days men shall seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. For the 2030s, Kurzweil anticipates neural interfaces that allow humans to connect their brains directly to cloud-based artificial intelligence. This would allow us to augment our own intelligence and abilities with the power of AI. Furthermore, Kurzweil predicted that in the 2030s, artificial intelligence will also completely reverse engineer the human brain, allowing it to create even more powerful AI systems that far exceed human performance by magnifying the structure and function of the human mind. He also predicts the widespread adoption of intelligent nanotechnology, allowing the manipulation of matter at the molecular and atomic levels, leading to the creation of highly efficient, miniaturized devices and systems and revolutionizing sectors like healthcare and manufacturing. Kurzweil also foresees the emergence of full immersion virtual reality. Enabled by exponentially advanced AI and computation, virtual environments and their characters will be indistinguishable from physical reality, transforming entertainment, communication, and other forms of human interaction forever. To some, this may all sound like a technological utopia. To me, it sounds more like an absolute nightmare. But the arrogance of the godless goes much further than even this, as I will show you in some more clips. In fact, Kurzweil predicts the 2030s to be when we achieve true artificial general intelligence, known as AGI, and quickly move towards the event horizon of the singularity. But that's just the beginning. 
Shockingly, this exponential growth in computing power will give a single thousand dollar device the computational power of all human brains combined, all by 2030. But Kurzweil's most profound prediction is the advent of the singularity. He predicts that this will occur around 2045. The singularity refers to a hypothetical future point where artificial intelligence will have progressed to be far greater than human intelligence radically changing civilization in an event which he describes as the intelligence explosion. In this era, the pace of technological growth will be so rapid and its impact so deep that human life will be irreversibly transformed. This includes the idea that our biological bodies and brains could be enhanced by technological augmentations, or that human consciousness might even be uploaded to an artificial medium. Some predict that human brains will be cloned or removed, placed into robots that never die, and then the person will live forever. The idea that machines will design and program robots that will rule the planet is another popular theory. Without taking into account the externalities they cause, their activities will be focused entirely on achieving their goals. This is man playing God. And why anyone would want to have their consciousness upload to com a computer completely baffles me. That would be a fate worse than death. In Revelation 17, verse 12 and 13, it states, And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. In the last decades, technology made a huge outbreak. With such rapid growth, technology is supposed to replace most human work. Nowadays, we are surrounded by artificial intelligence, starting from our smartphones, smart TVs, PCs, etc. Keeping up with the innovations of these and other technologies is challenging. However, artificial intelligence is much more than our everyday gadgets. Artificial intelligence integrates computer science and big databases in order to speed up the decision-making process. It includes the branches of artificial intelligence known as deep learning and machine learning, which are commonly mentioned together. The fields use AI algorithms to build expert systems. The systems make predictions or classify information based on the received data. The capabilities of artificial intelligence are often stronger than those of human brains. Information can be processed more quickly by machines than by humans. The question that concerns many people is whether there will be a singularity. What is singularity? The term singularity refers to a tipping point where intellectual objects may design and create better replicas of themselves and other machines without the assistance of humans. With this, human intelligence will be surpassed. Since in their minds we are only there to serve them, you can see why the global, what they call themselves, elite, would see as far as the future goes where we the average rank-and-file person, for the most part, won't be needed in their future. They are hell-bent on replacing humans with machines in every facet of life. Google's director of engineering, Ray Kurzweil, is a well-known futurist with a solid track record for making accurate predictions. He states that the next 30 years will mark the growth of technological singularity. According to Kurzweil, the process leading up to the singularity has already started. I see just today uh, from artificial intelligence leaders at Google and OpenAI signed a statement mitigating risk of extinction from AI should be global priority, industry leaders say. It's those very same people that are developing the AI and also programming AI through the big tech companies. We've already seen how it is biased against Christianity and also um, anything that is considered conspiracy or not the truth as they see it gets censored. And so that's there in the programming of the AI right from the word go. The biggest threat from the singularity is that it might turn against us and destroy the entire humanity. Both machines and artificial intelligence are an existential danger and an existential chance to overcome our limitations presented by the singularity. I see all of this having the very real possibility of fulfilling the book of Revelation chapter 13 where it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed so it actually says give life unto the image of the beast 
and in verse 16 it says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And so, folks, these days appear to be fast approaching, and we need to be aware of it. And as Christians, we need to keep our eyes open and our hearts right that we do not bow down to the image of the beast or give any part of our power and strength or our mind to the beast.